Betts is approachable. She's a loving person, a great mom, a great athlete. She thinks of others before she considers herself. I think Vicki has impacted golf by combining athletic skill with uh, feminism. And she, can, she perseveres so long. She's a, she doesn't quit, she doesn't give up. The first time I can remember doing something in golf was with my family. Um, that was the whole reason I played golf. She had no choice. She was in our family. My wife golfed, I golfed, Nick golfed. She played golf from before she was born. Uh, I golfed every day during my, almost every day during my pregnancy with her. Because we lived on a golf course, we were out there all the time. I remember doing all sorts of things on the golf course. I mean, basically, I probably did more of other things than playing golf when I was out there. Uh, I'd make these little bracelets out of grass, I'd build sand castles, uh, I'd run around, and then I'd hit a shot. I don't think she really thought about, you know what, this is what I want to do for a career. It was more of a recreational activity, it was a family activity. Vicki became fascinated with golf when she was five and we took her to her first tournament. I remember going into the clubhouse at the first tournament and they had Rice Krispie treats. And it was the greatest thing ever because my mom did not have a lot of treats around the house. And it was also the first time I'd ever stayed in a hotel and it had a swimming pool. And she came home after winning the tournament and was really interested in playing hotel. And she wanted to do it again. And we said, well, if you want to do it again, you're gonna to have to practice. So that's what she did. She practiced golf so that she could go back to the hotel and have room service and play in the pool. She was had her brother who was so much more talented physically and mentally because he was older. He just kind of nurtured her along. Oh, he was huge. He was a role model. He got the game. He understood it. It's uh, always been a wonderful relationship. How much instruction I actually gave her, uh, I, that's debatable. I, maybe I would treat that like I currently do with my wife, where I love playing with her and competing with her, but that's, <laughs> that's where it stops. The biggest change probably then came when we moved to Georgia from Wisconsin when I was nine, and we had year-round to play and practice, and that is when I really saw my game elevate. Some of our accomplishments are with AJGA. I couldn't even tell you how many she's won. Probably the, the, the most two that she's well known for is her two U.S. amateurs. And when I turned 16, my parents decided to have me try to play in the women's U.S. amateur. And they kept trying to put me in things really to lose. They wanted me to understand what it was to, to not and to, to work hard to achieve more. And um, I went to the U.S. Amateur and I won. That was unbelievable. And it, and it really was not a difficult win for her. It's a fin fantastic feat. I mean, two of those is, is just amazing, uh, especially at the ages that she uh, was able to uh, have those wins. When she came along, nobody had done anything what she has done because they didn't play that early. In 1991, when Vicki won the, the state high school championship, there was no girls golf in Georgia. And any girl that competed had to compete with the boys. And I know it was her goal to win the championship, and she did. And the next year, the Georgia State High School Association changed the rules so that there was a girls' championship and a boys' championship, and that could never happen again. I started to get letters from colleges and whatnot. I ended up playing for the University of Georgia. Winning an NCAA championship as a freshman, uh, the individual title for that is also just an incredible accomplishment for sure. The University of Georgia actually hosted the NCAA tournament my sophomore year, and it was something that I really wanted to be a part of, so I definitely stayed through that, and then I turned pro. I knew she was going do it first of all, but it made me very proud. She is a hard worker and everything about her preparation for that experience told us that it would be successful. I definitely expected to come out and play well right from the get-go. My expectations were probably even higher than anyone else's. The biggest challenges that Vicki encountered once she got on tour relate to just the time management of now family. The reason I decided to stop playing golf is I had spent about a month with my mom at the Mayo Clinic. In that time frame, you know, I saw a lot of sick individuals. And I came home from the experience, I hadn't seen my son much for the last month, and I was ready to go practice, and my son said to me, don't go, I want to go to the pool. And um, I, I knew what I needed to do, but I chose the pool. You come to a point in your life where you're going to devote yourself to playing golf, or you're going to devote yourself to your family. There was so much that was pulling at her time. And she wanted to be a mother very badly, and she enjoyed being a mother very badly. 
When I got the phone call that I was being inducted into the Georgia State Hall of Fame, I was shocked. I think Vicky's you know, deserving of the uh, induction to the Hall of Fame because I think amazing credentials as far as the successes that she's had competitively. She was fantastic in all areas. She's a great ambassador for the game of golf. A wonderful role model for everyone, not just girl golfers. My belief is that certainly becoming a part of the Hall of Fame it largely relates to just who she is as a person. Yeah, she is a great golfer, but she's an even better individual. Well, you never know about all things in the future, but uh, the immediate thing is I'm going to be the president of the LPGA Player Board again, which I'm very excited to be back. I'm going to continue, obviously, being a part of my family. I mean, my family is so, so important to me, and being a mom, I'm, it's just, it's great. Congratulations, Vicki. I mean, you, uh, you've been a special person in my life, uh, just a wonderful sister. Vicki, I'm so proud of you for all that you have achieved and who you are. Uh, Vicki, uh, congratulations for being uh, honored at this event. You certainly deserved it. You're a wonderful daughter, a great golfer, and you're a guest. Jake and I are extremely proud of you. Um, this is a, um, obviously a well-deserved uh, an award. Uh, and um, I love you. For years and years and years and years to come, my name will always be on that list. And, um, and that's pretty cool. I've been given a lot of opportunities. A lot of people have helped me along the way. And I'm blessed, and I know it. And. Um, and I hope to give other people back what they've given me.